Hi and welcome to Chandu.org. This is a lesson on how to create user-friendly dashboards by linking multiple form controls to same cell. Now there are many techniques when it comes to creating user-friendly dashboards. So in this lesson we are not going to discuss the entire spectrum of techniques. Instead I'm going to show you one technique that I found quite useful when you have a dashboard that is uh, either too long by definition dashboards are not supposed to be too long but uh, bear with me let's say you made something quite impressive and it has to go beyond one screen so let's say you have something that is too long or a dashboard that is split across multiple worksheet tabs in both cases what happens is uh, usually dashboards will have some sort of a user interaction component like a form control or a slicer or some of those things where user can say I want to sh I want to see this I want to analyze this kind of data or I want to look at this region or I want to look at these category of products or whatnot and uh, and then if you have a dashboard that's too big either too long or spread across multiple sheets what would then happen is users need to switch between uh, uh, multiple sheets to make ch selection changes or they constantly need to scroll all the way back up or you know, all the way to down uh, to make selection changes which can reduce the uh, experience of the dashboard uh, how people feel about it so I'm going to show you one technique that is very very relevant and very useful when, when we are dealing with this problem so let's jump into uh, the workbook um, so here is our uh, dashboard now excuse me because this is not a very big dashboard what I did is I wanted to create something that is simple enough uh, so that you can focus on the technique but at the same time uh, something that has a little depth and not too shallow so uh, we have two types of analysis conducted on some sort of data sales analysis and expenditure analysis presumably the the audience or the requirement for the audience is different for these two types of analysis uh, but the focus will be an individual state uh, you have operations in 10 states and you will pick one state so let's say I want to look at uh, uh, something like uh, South Carolina so we are looking at the product sales trends in South Carolina for all our top five products and all the products and uh, now if I want to analyze the expenditure what I would in normal life what I would have to do is I have to go to expense analysis tab and then switch the South Carolina there but by linking both form controls to the same cell what would then happen is if you go to expense analysis you already see South Carolina here now while you are looking at expenses you thought okay let me look at North Carolina because they probably are related and uh, uh, oh, that's not there so we will we look at Texas let's say if you switch it to Texas here you're looking at the expense 10 for Texas and when you go back to sales analysis here it is showing Texas so uh, this is achieved by first adding one form control setting up everything and then just copy pasting that form control on the other sheet so what happens is if you select a form control you can see that this is actually linked to your data worksheet M5 cell uh, if you go here and select that this one is also linked to the same M5 cell so whenever you change either of these drop downs uh, they will update the M5 cell so your M5 cell changes which is uh, triggering some calculation changes here that will calculate the uh, analysis path for us now if you are curious about how the analysis itself is done, what kind of charts I have used, what kind of formulas I have used, how I went from raw data to here, well that's not part of this lesson so I'm not uh, going to share that to you. Uh, but you can visit chindu.org slash WP and download a copy of this workbook uh, and uh, this is unlocked so you can go ahead and break it apart and understand. Uh, there are many other techniques that I have discussed on Shendu.org over the years that kind of uh, help you decipher or at least uh, understand the nuts and bolts of this particular report. If you are curious to know how to work better with form controls, uh, data validation slicers and create interactive dashboards, reports and awesome looking stuff, I highly recommend you to consider my Excel School Dashboards program where we show you uh, how to build really complex dashboards not something as simple as this but uh, 
very very complicated and very good looking insightful stuff using all the techniques uh, around advanced formulas form controls charts spark lines and whatnot so you may visit uh, chedu.org where you can find information about excel school as well thank you so much for watching this video if you have enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up on youtube and uh, i really appreciate uh, you for that if you would like to get more videos you may also consider joining our youtube channel or sign up for the excel school program where there is a ton of video material to make you awesome Thank you so much. You have a great day. Bye-bye.